You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to Thought for December the 6th. Our readings are Job chapter 8, Micah chapter 3 and 4, and Hebrews chapter 13. And our thought is, so we can confidently say. How many can speak with confidence these days? Certainly the politicians can't. Although they often try to sound that way, And we read the last chapter of Hebrews today where Paul is emphasising to them the need to be positive in their attitude to the spiritual aspects of life. His first four words are, let brotherly love continue. That surely includes sisterly love too. It means love in a practical sense, not just words. John wrote, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. There is a saying, actions speak louder than words. Paul then says, remember those who are in prison and those who are in prison with them and those who are mistreated, since you also are in the body of Christ. Verse 3. As this world falls apart and becomes more dysfunctional, these words will have more frequent application. A few years ago, robbers with guns broke into a home where brethren hold their meetings and some lived. And as well as stealing money and valuables, they sprayed bullets around, injuring a father and three sons, one seriously. Other members rallied around to help, giving their blood for transfusions. This happened in Pakistan. But the potential for similar incidents to happen in more and more countries is increasing as this world becomes increasingly ungodly. Now let's look at verse 5 and 6. It says, Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Where did he say this? Those words are from the prophet Haggai, giving a message to those living in difficult circumstances. We will read his message in a couple of weeks. Those who only read the New Testament are missing much powerful encouragement from their God. Today's chapter in Micah is a good example. It starts, It shall come to pass in the latter days, Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Chapter 4, verses 1 and 5. This is a description of God's kingdom when it is fully functioning. Those alive then will say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. Verse 2. Let us live today and every day so that we can, by faith, confidently say, we will be there. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the Word of God, the Bible, knowing that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. 
If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at btf at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.